Welcome to this video, today I will show you how you can make this useless box that uses a cheap 555 timer instead of a relatively expensive microcontroller. Using a microcontroller for useless box is pretty wasteful in terms of cost and processing power, that's why I decided to use a 505 timer instead. The circuit I'm using is a modified version of the 505 timer PWM circuit. The standard components are chosen to get a usable frequency for the 9 gram servo. The difference between the standard circuit and mine is the way it's powered and the determination of the duty cycle. The double pole toggle switch that the user toggles connects the circuit to VCC and connects the resistor that changes the duty cycle to send the servo arm upwards. Once the servo arm toggles the switch back to its original position, the duty cycle changes again, causing the servo arm to go back down. But this also cuts power, that's why there is a second switch in parallel that connects the circuit to VCC. This one is mounted inside the case and keeps it powered until it's pressed by the servo arm in the downward position. The two switches combined keep the circuit powered from the moment the user toggles the switch until the servo arm has reached the downward position again after toggling the switch back to its original position. My first prototype used potentiometers to adjust the duty cycles and thus the angles of the motor. But this was not really necessary because the duty cycle changes as soon as the toggle is changed and the power is cut as soon as the servo arm is back in the downward position. As you can see, it works pretty good. If you take a look inside, you can see the circuit that is powered by a power bank PCB that is able to charge the small battery and boost the voltage up to 5 volts. Here you can see the switch that is operated by the servo arm. I do suggest adding a spring and a magnet to ensure the lid closes properly. You can find the link to the 3D model of this enclosure in the video description together with anything else you need for this project. That was it for this video, if you have any questions you can ask them in the comments below. Please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye!